I give tips throughout the show. <laughs> I swear to God. Uh, North Dakota is our 39th state. <laughs> you know what happens to me all, does this ever happen to you guys? You ever ask someone if they know someone and then they tell you another name? <laughs> How's that possible? That happens to me like once a month. I go, uh, you know Mike Anderson? He goes, uh, I know a uh, Flip Gunderson. <laughs> Did you hear me say Flip Gunderson? <laughs> Sometimes they don't even have the right sex. I go, you know Mike Smith? He goes, uh, we know Denise Smith. I go, yeah, that's the guy. <laughs> what, you got a plate in your head? What's the matter with you? And folks, if you're going to have kids, don't give them weird names because then they do weird stuff. You know that? Yeah, names are important. You know Hitler? If that guy's name was Chip, none of that stuff would have happened. <laughs> <laughs> Who would take a guy like that serious, little, little Chip Hitler? You know, like all the Nazis, they're having a meeting. They're like, guess who wants to be our leader? And they're like, cool, they're like, friggin' Chip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're like, what? Little Chip with the mustache? <laughs> Gotta have a good name. It's like my brother, my brother, he goes, oh, we're just having one kid and we're calling it quits. I'm like, that's a weird name for a kid. <laughs> These are the idiots I hang out with. I think when people meet me, they think they're giving me a compliment, you know? They go, uh, they go that's your name, Rocky? And I go, yeah. And they go, uh, I got a dog named Rocky. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that's a compliment? What if I did that to you? You seem like a nice lady. What's your name? Jan. Jan. That's a nice name. <laughs> Are you married there, Jan? What's going on? No, no never been? No. Oh, good for you. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, who's been divorced here before by applause? Oh. Ah, that's a... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you didn't get remarried? No. Oh, you did? Oh, your tolerance goes way down, though, right? After... <laughs> Yeah, women, they don't put up with nothing a second time. <laughs> you're like, hey, did you see my socks? And you're like, hey, I'm out of here. I don't need this crap. <laughs> yeah. I had to get divorced. My ex-wife, she used to talk to me like I'm an idiot. Everything she'd say, like everything I'd say, she'd correct me, you know, and... Couldn't take it no more. I'm like, Lisa, quit correcting me. She's like, my name's Sheila. <laughs> yeah, it was stuff like that every day. <laughs> and she argued with anybody, you know, people like that? They argue all the time with people. Yeah. We went, we went to a psychic one time and he was telling her stuff she didn't want to hear. She gets in an argument with a guy who, does, who argues with a psychic, first of all, that don't even... He goes, he goes, your wife's a lunatic. I'm like, this guy's good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I know, and I didn't tell him nothing. Was, he knew, it was spooky, I had the chills. <laughs> you're like me, Jan, you're trying to date there and there's all those crazy people out there. I read that book, The Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Phoenix. You ever read that? <laughs> no, Jan? I like being divorced. I get to do different things now, like talk and stuff. <laughs> it's <a> true story. <laughs> we went out to eat before the show. In the restaurant, they had those heart-healthy meals. Like they show a salad, and then they put that little heart next to it. They should do that for bad food too, don't you think? Like maybe on the side of fried food, there's a picture of a guy 
clutching his chest. He's like, holy crap. <laughs> you know, we're like on spicy Mexican food. There's a picture of a guy like running to the bathroom. It's like, <laughs> Flames coming out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ever eat so much food you start sweating? You ever, that ever happen to you? And you're like, I gotta cool off, and then you shove ice cream down your. It's crazy. You ever go through a drive through and you order so much food when you get up to the front to pay, they're shocked there's only one person in the car? <laughs> We eat too much. That's what they said now. Two-thirds of Americans are overweight. You know the good thing about that? If you are, there's not a lot of people left to make fun of you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're the majority. <laughs> the ads are now. If somebody comes up to you and they go, hey, you're fat, you're like, so are you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Let's have a zoo. <laughs> I, uh, my buddy talked me into doing one of those half marathons. It's like 13.2 miles or whatever. Yeah, we did it in two hours. It took me six. Yeah, who's the endurance athlete here? People are throwing up. I didn't break a sweat. <laughs> it's hard working out though, ain't it? Yeah. You ever go to the gym and look around and like start crying? Do you ever do that? <laughs> they had a sign in my gym that said, go heavy or go home. And uh, I went home. <laughs> I like my home. I got snacks there. Got jujubes, I love jujubes. <laughs> then you always go, join the gym, it's only $30 a month, right? Like, who's gonna work out for a whole month? <laughs> I'm like, how much is it for like 20 minutes? <laughs> then when you join the gym, they always go, what are your, what do they always ask you? They go, what are your goals, right? They go, what are your goals? Go, I'd like to be able to button my pants, that would be nice. <laughs> I was working out with my buddy the other day. He goes, you got a nice tan on your face. I'm like, I'm having a stroke. <laughs> the UFC's real big now too, right? The, the, the UFC, yeah. They had the UFC training in my gym. And the guy goes, you want to sign up for uh, UFC? I'm like, no, I'm, I already just signed up with uh, KFC. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, got uh, two years of the extra crispy. <laughs> I just started uh, lifting weights because I wasn't getting the results I wanted from uh, eating pizza. <laughs> you know what's sad? I exercise and I weigh this much. I gotta work out just to stay kind of fat. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not funny. <laughs> My brother, he don't work out, he's junk and he's skinny. You know people like that? Yeah, don't punch him in the neck. These corn dogs, who invented a corn dog? Like a hot dog ain't bad enough for you, right? Like with all those nitrates. Somebody looked at a hot dog and go, I can make that worse. <laughs> and they do, right? They fry it in grease and they bread it and they jam a stick in there and people line up to buy that junk. He's baloney, who the heck eats baloney anymore? You don't eat baloney, do you, Jen? No. This was like 10 years ago, that stuff. I had a bologna sandwich one time. A homeless guy came up to me, goes, don't eat that crap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A marsupial is a kangaroo. <laughs> Remember those tests they used to give you? Those ones they go, uh, if uh, Bob is half of Betty's age, and in two years, he'll be two thirds Betty's age, they go, uh, how do you find Bob's age? And uh, I go up to him and I go, uh, hey, Bob. <laughs> uh, so how 
old are you now? <laughs> Teacher was asking around. And, uh, yeah. now, how old's Betty gonna be in case it comes up at a later date? <laughs> you remember that stuff? Then he'd go show your work. And then uh, I draw a picture of me walking up the bar. <laughs> hey. I hated school. My kid was asking me what an adverb is. I go, it's when you get a verb and then you add another one. <laughs> so you get a verb like a uh, cat. <laughs> and uh, then you get another one like lack, you put it together, freaking Cadillac. <laughs> That's a compound adverb, right? <laughs> My friend, uh, I guess she was a librarian, and she told me she had to go, I think it was like two years, of, it was called Library Science and Information. I'm like, what science is there to be a librarian, you know? People come in, they go, they're like, hey, where's the books? You're like. <laughs> yeah. And hey, no talking. Two years of that, I could have thought that in like 10 minutes. We're in, we're out. I remember one time I bring my report card home. I go, hey, Pop, I got a B in reading. He goes, that's a D, you idiot. 